couple safety announcements before we go. Uh, once we start moving, you cannot get up and move around. You have to sit down. Uh, no movement between corners, especially. Uh, we don't want anybody to throw her off and get hurt. Also, state mandate and federal mandate is that you must wear a mask the entire ride uh, until January of next year so far. And who knows when they'll extend it beyond that. And then finally, for your own safety and well-being, keep your arms, legs, hands, head, or anything else you want to keep inside the car because there are a couple places where the briar bushes and the holly trees get very, very close to the track. And either one of those can scratch you up real good. So enjoy your ride. Oh, you figure this, the bulls probably cost about, well, it was under $1,500 to build in 1874. And about six to eight hundred dollars to con convert it and equip it as a caboose in 1902. So less than twenty-five hundred dollars for 147 years of service. That's not bad. The railroad got 98 years out of it, and we've gotten uh, I don't know, 49 years out of it. Down at the end of it, you see the other Navy flat car train, and that'll 
be in a condition that we could reach the right through them. It's just a bit of steel spring. We had to add the decking, the seats, handrails, and all that stuff to this one to be able to use it for passengers. Next to that boat, you'll see a big red building. That's our main car barn. That's where we store most of our equipment. Uh, there are five tracks under cover there, each is about 160 feet long. But even with that, we don't have enough room for everything. Some pieces still have to be left out of the night. Yeah. 